Hello YouTube, my name is Interverse and welcome back to Eleanor. Now let's continue. Console Scar. I think this was a DLC a mission when it came out. I think. Can't really remember. Alright. Yeah, we're getting the cutscene again. No worries. Okay, we're gonna keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. All right. DR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good. Get going. All right. I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. Better go earn our pathetic wages. <laughs> Rimsky, O'Halloran. Intelligence has information on a stolen car um, rack. An abandoned vehicle. This way, yeah. We catch all the good ones, huh, Phelps? Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new Packard unless they borrowed it without asking. Yep. You don't say. You're on fire today, Adam. Very funny. Very on, funny. Let's go save the world. Come on. There you come. Let's get moving. Did you hear about Adrian? Fraud in Seattle threw him out. <laughs> wife says she's going to take him back. Women generally show more compassion. What are you talking about? Adrian dumped on her. He was humping the secretary. Yep. Margaret should show some pride. Pride comes before a fall, Bukowski. Talking from experience. <laughs> Or Adrian. Hmm. What do we have here? Phelps, traffic. I'm Officer Houlihan. Cars down the alleyway, detectives. All right. We got a call about an abandoned vehicle. Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some mm. kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched yes, so this vehicle is. since you arrived? No. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore <laughs> old son of a bitch anyway. Ah, uh, not so nice thing to say about old people. Let's see. I must have taken the flag as a souvenir. Can't have any street value. Hmm. Yep. It's owned by the Argentinian embassy. Well, this can't be real. Good. And missing uh, plate. License plate. Good. Oh, another thing. Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. The car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. Yep. Anything on the back? Come on. Empty. Hmm. And spare wheel is gone. Oh, there is something. A wrench. Combination wrench. Must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. Yeah. Why would they leave that behind? Doesn't make any sense. Nothing significant. Really? That could be used as a weapon. Oh. 
phone will have to slide up. Let's use it. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Right. Thanks for your Oh, so that's our next location, I think. Oh, let's talk to this guy. Oswald Jacobs? That's hmm. right. What were you reading there? What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. Right. That. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Mm -hmm. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't boys be boys. patient, Sonny. Anyway, last night I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Right. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Really? And you could say that they were Mexicans. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. So it might have been also Portuguese. After the uh, Mexicans left, you mm. didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. Right. Well, we don't have any proof, so... You went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. Yep. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. You'd have gone clean. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. Hmm? I didn't catch the license number. Well, I think that's true. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Hmm. Candy apple red paint job stands out a mile. Right. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Right, and not the plates or the flag. Right. So what did you take, Jacobs? Do you want my partner to pat you down? Hmm? I found a notebook in the glove compartment. I was going to show you. It's on the chair on my porch. All right. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Thibault about signing a formal statement. Yep. When you get the car out of the way, maybe you could come back and do something about those kids. Oh, How about not. we bring you an umpire's mask? <laughs> Game. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle, a degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R and I. Hmm. Well, this is weird. Lovely speaking voice. Good natured. Full lips. Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like hmm. business rather than pleasure. Yeah. Likes gifts. Dark good looks. And Gabriel. Intrigue features but first. Oh, that's weird.
And the phone has to light up again. Wait, oh, there's the car. I thought they threw it away already. Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, detective? Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Hmm. Connecting you now. Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. Hmm. Wrong person, Mrs. Madsen. Sorry to disturb you. Are there any messages for me? There's just one message for you, Detective. All right. Four-door Packard, diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. All right. Did you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. Hmm. Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thanks. Right. Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, Detective. We'll speak we'll follow to up this on the owner. Valdez. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. Come already? There he comes. And a little bit slow guy. You know, if you are going to smoke, you can smoke while you're walking. But you shouldn't smoke. This Smoking is bad for you. This has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we have caught this year. One more and I'm going to go crazy. Not your favorite cases? You kidding me? This is barely even police work. Of all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. <laughs> I to think the last mission, the AGM, was also a bandit car, so, yeah. <laughs> oh well. Do we have a Juan Francisco Valdez in for questioning? Sure do, Phelps. Your bird's an interview, too. And get this, he's wearing gloves and doing his best not to touch anything. Can you beat that? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like we don't want to keep this guy waiting. It's this way. I think we bust in there and find the goddamn man. You mean the cop they've been talking about on the radio? Want to accommodate? About time. Are you the senior officer I requested? I'm Detective Phelps, and this is Detective Pekowski. Have you any idea how long I've been waiting to speak with you? I am needed back at the consulate, and you keep me here like a common criminal. All right, friend, let's take a deep breath and start all over again. Mr. Valdez. Counsel General, hmm. I insist on my full title. Where did you purchase the car? My secretary and driver arranged the purchase. A disreputable right. place, a Dewey Brothers by name. As soon as I can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. Bought a Packard, Valez. A snob like you doesn't drive an American car. Yeah. I want answers or I'll smack you around the teeth. Ooh. William Dewey offered me a substantial bribe to make a purchase at his establishment. It is not unusual to make this kind of transaction in the civil service. Well, tell that to the Argentine taxpayers. Yeah. Consul General, we have located your car. Can you tell us how it was stolen? It must have been stolen from the council garage. Terribly inconvenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flogged. Unfortunately, we don't do that here, your worship. You have a pretty good idea who stole the car, don't you, Consul General? Are you going to tell yep. me, or do I shake it out of you? <laughs> There's no call for violence. Yes, there may be. I, I don't know. 
a disgruntled boy from the car dealership. All right. You have a name for this kid? Gabriel, like the archangel. I have no surname. Well, there was a name for Gabriel in that. No. So tell us about this kid, Gabriel. You had a run-in with him? Mecanico. A presumptuous young man who did not know his place. He presumed to ask me questions. We do a lot of presuming here mm. in the United States, Consul General. It comes with the turf. Yeah. Well, he's hiding something. You fuck young boys, Valdez. Are you a madman? This will cause an international incident. Well, there was, um... There's one up. There's one up. Danny, Ben, Miguel, Tristan, and Teddy. Hmm. Full lips. Yeah. Ring any bells? I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. Can yeah, we? Spill it. A beautiful but impertinent boy. I mentioned rendezvous and the young man went quite insane. I thought he was going to kill me. I was hmm. prepared to pay. We'll be in touch, Consul General. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they weren't even his prints and he still confessed. I didn't want to arrest the kid. Hmm. So I gave Let's him go to the dealership. Finished with Valdez. Thank God. I'll get rid of him in a couple of hours. <laughs> Boot man. I mean, you know you've made it if you got that death. You know the way. You can drive. All right. Where to? Only place on the notebook. Mr. Valdez moves in some peculiar circles for an international yeah. bon vivant. Ah, English, please. See, this is why nobody invites you out for drinks. <laughs> it's just very industrious of him to be so involved in matters of consular transportation. All right, no. you're making it worse now. I think what you're trying to say is that lover boy in there is as full of crap as his Christmas goose. Nice that driving is there. It, it wasn't my fault. If that comes out of a, uh, end, a report, that wasn't my fault. Station and a car repair shop and a, a car dealership. Don't tell me, let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four door, and couldn't help yourself. Hmm. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac, we'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. All We're right. investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? Hmm. I don't know, Detective. But I know how we can find out. Follow me. Right? Are you... At least he's not running. We keep all our tools in here. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Mm. Huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Go sell some cars or whatever it is that you do here. Yep. That's not right. <laughs> you see that one? Lower one. Wrong size. There we go. That one and the last one. Left. one. There we go. Gabriel Delgado is missing a three quarter. Yep. That's weird. I mean, pleasant place. Right, there we go. No good. We need diplomatic plates.
Well, time. I bet abroad's been driving this auto. The clutch is a mess. This doesn't pertain to the case. Right? I was there a child. Seems irrelevant. There is something here. Just where I'm so whatever. Oh. There are chime. There is not look at. Or maybe I'm just very big. Well. Let's go, let's go talk to him. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Packards are great followed. cars. But this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. Hmm. How do you know Valdez? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. Right. And I know a shyster when I see one. Hmm. You and Valdez are in this together. Me and Valdez? I hardly know him. Valdez wouldn't wipe his shoes with me. Right, um... We've talked to Valdez. He was very obliging. He told us all about the arrangement the two of you had, and now quit wasting our time. Yep. Okay. So I met Valdez in a bar. We cut a deal, and he bought the car through the embassy. Right. I cut him some change on the side. It happens all the time. Does it now? Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. It sure as hell isn't here. I think you do, but we have no proof. Address, Dewey, or my partner shoves her head in a car door. Okay, all right. Apartment 3103 Hill Street. And tell him from me. If he ever shows his face around here again, I'm going to kick his butt from here to kingdom come. Right. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards will steal anything the minute your back is turned. Right. Somehow, I still think you know something else, but... What are you hiding, Dewey? Spill it. You don't want the LAPD getting too interested in this place. Yeah. So I hire a few illegals. It's cheaper than hiring returning GIs. They have less attitude. Downside is they're a little light fingered. Hmm. Thank you for your help, Mr. Dewey. No problem. God damn that kid. I'm just an honest car salesman. Are you now? Seems like you just don't know who you can trust these days. Hmm. Go right. to movies, Dewey. You're missing your calling. <laughs> Time to visit Gabriel Delgado. See how good his excuse is. Yeah. Agreed. You're behind the wheel. And where exactly are we going? You didn't you just say that we need to visit Delgado? Are you uh, having a sort of memory loss or something? Developing three-dimensional movies. What's a dimension? <laughs> you know, like a graph. Vertical axis is y and horizontal is x. Yeah. Well, that's clear as mud. Third dimension would be z. So things will be popping out of the screen. Yep. That's ridiculous. Scare people out of the theater. God's name would want that. I don't know. 
people scoffed at the idea of talkies. And <laughs> look what we have now. Yep. So, not many many people actually notice or have ever considered this, but 3D movies are uh, uh, old, old concept. I think there are even some from uh, the Second World War or okay, even let's see what Gabriel has before to say that. I just hope our Archangel hasn't already flown. Hey, that's that cop. What the hell is this guy doing? Well, this is not nice. So many papers. Yep. Here he is. Apartment 3. Apartment. One. Go upstairs. Hello, ma'am. Yes. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you mm. understand? Yes, I understand. Could you come inside? What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Ms. Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he yeah. is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. I don't really. So how far along are you, Anna? Well, there's something here. Right. So how's it going to be when you go into labor and he's not around? Come on. You are wrong about Gabriel. Souvenirs are a dumb He will move. be a good father. Already he works hard to provide for us. Unless you Holy help us Bible. Here, Anna, your little one won't be seeing Papa for a very long time. <laughs> just until that. That, that, that. They have a Holy Bible. This must be Dave. Difficult to tell whether it's the suspect vehicle from the scene. <laughs> Certainly Gabriel's pride and joy. Yep. Well, well, well. Serving breakfast for two, Anna? You should have cleared up. Yep. Uh. Hmm. Maybe the cape is hiding in the shack. Oh yeah, I remember this part. Must be from the Looks car. Like Valdez gets his wheel back. Yep. And look at here. Diplomatic license plates. Hmm. I don't think there's anything else. But so many plates. Right, let's talk to Anna. Is this going to be a little bit longer episode, but I'm going to make go through this whole thing. You're in serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? And that's the reason to steal a car? Honor, Anna? He said to his friend, try to make a woman out of him. What? He no longer respects Oh, yeah. Man, yeah, 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 yeah. He took the car to show this maricon that he is a man. All right. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. Really? So you are eating uh, to breakfast? You keep lying to me, and I'll send you and your baby to jail. 
He lives here, but he hasn't come home. I swear it. Right, so... Enough, Anna. There are signs all over this place that he's been back. Yeah. He was here last night. Okay. I have never seen him so angry. Hmm. He went out to his shed and put some things in it. I don't know what and I don't want to know. I love him. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Yes, Add we did. an assortment of parts, and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. Hmm. I know nothing of these car parts. Right. Then tell us where he is. If your baby is born in prison, Anna, the corrections officers will take it from you. You mm -hmm. will see your son or daughter through a metal grate for half an hour a week. Yeah. The start oh, time is on first five to ten second. years. There is a spillway under the bridge that leads to the river. Many policia have wrecked trying to follow him. All right. We will put in a good word for you, Anna. As far as we're concerned, this sits with Gabriel. Start line. That sounds like a street race to me. Yep. It's gotten out of hand this last year. No wonder Delgado has such an eye for fine art. So, let's get in there. We know where the kid is. Let's go stop these clowns and get them off the streets. We are going. Don't have to yell at me. You can drive. <laughs> Do we know where we're going? Really? <laughs> what kind of man leaves his pregnant girlfriend at home while he goes off to play cars? Pregnant girlfriends aren't always a barrel of laughs. Let's go Everybody stop them. Where are we stage. going? Some guys wouldn't come Did back you home even at all. pay attention? You're talking from experience? Did you even pay attention? Yeah, let's go there. Where? I'm totally with you. Now, who are you again? There's the red Ford. That's Delgado right there. Yep. Time to race. Quick! They're getting away! Requesting assistance at first at Santa Fe. Reports of an illegal street. We need some Euro pit here. Stay on Delgado. Get in the way. All right. Quick as we shut one of these races down, another one springs up somewhere else. Yep. The kids used to steal cars and sell them. Now they just want to wrap them around a lamppost. The next 16 year old I have to peel off the sidewalk, your fault. I've had enough of those to last me a lifetime. Delgado is our boy, forget the others. We are going to get you. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. I'm trying. Step on it, Phelps. Take him out. We are a uh, pedal in the middle. Come on. Whoa. That was close. Come on. I'm trying. All right. Well, that car is toast. Really? Yeah. Fuck you, puto. You should speak to the maricón. Valdez, I showed him. Now who's a man? I should have burned his fucking car. <laughs> you got a foreign dignitary outed as a fruit and a kitty raper. A car dealer we're going to let slide for the kickbacks. And a street punk car thief who sure as hell won't be taking liberties with other people's autos again anytime soon. 
Yep. That Detective Phelps is not a bad haul. You keep your chin low and your hands high, and you keep bringing me clearances just like that one. That's textbook policing, and we need more of it in this department. Right. All right, let's see what we got. Can't be good. This can't be good. Yeah, vehicle damage is going up. Oh no. And city damage. Five stars. Nice. Right. Let's move. What are we going to do next time? You have any plans for Weekend Liberty, Jack? My sisters have been working in Los Angeles in a bomber factory. They're coming down to visit. I'm meeting them at the station at 6. Good for you, Jack. Are they cute? They're my sisters, Hank. <laughs> Attention! Final inspection before Liberty. Good job, Kelso. Are we going somewhere, gentlemen? Full inspection. It had better be exceptional if any of you want liberty this weekend. Kelso. This carbine, the four is dirty. No, it isn't. Are you arguing with me, Kelso? Do what you need to do, Sergeant. You know the boar's immaculate. Weekend liberty canceled. <sighs> Two-day field drill. Nice, Don Kelso. Clean this rifle. No. Do you know the penalty for insubordination, Kelso? Jack, don't do it. Forget him, Hank. He doesn't have what it takes. Are you two finished? Are you going to clean this rifle? No, Sergeant. Cole is right. I'm going to stop playing games and join a rifle company and fight the real enemy. Oh. Well, didn't see that one coming. Now, what is best? Marriage made in heaven. Right. Well, let's continue with that in next time. In next time, so that was a little bit long episode. Sorry about that, but as always, thanks for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.